Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic glass material in Unreal. So let's get started by just putting in a plane for where you, for what you want your window to be or wherever you want your glass to be. So I'm just going to make a window to test it out on. So I'm just going to go over here and from basic just grab in a plane, press E to rotate it and just rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Move it into position and just scale it up like so. And I think that's good. Then go into the folder wherever you want your material to be. I'm just going to do it here. I'll just right click, click material. And I'm just going to call this glass mat. There we go. And then open this up. And then once you've opened that up, we're going to want to get a constant four vector. And so to do that, you just hold down four and left click. And then let's go down to the bottom left here, open the constant and change these values here. So this is the red, green, blue and alpha colors for this. So I found some numbers that I used earlier and I'll use them now. So for the red, we're going to want 0.005, the green 0.001, the blue 0.00848, and the alpha 0.996. And you should get a nice purple color like this. And then we'll just plug that into the base color like so. And you can see it all appearing here in this preview section on the left here. And then we're going to want to get three constants. And so to do that, you just hold down one and left click. So one, two, three. And the top one, we're going to set to be 0.1. And so then the second one is 26. And the third one is 0.1 again. And then for the first 0.1, we're going to plug that into the metallic. And then the 26 into the specular. And then the other 0.1 into the roughness, like so. And what these are doing is that this is just the basic color that it's going to be. So it's going to have like a purple tint to it. And then the metallic is how obviously how metallic it looks. The specular is how see-through it is. And the roughness is again how rough it is. And then we're going to want to get another four constants. So again, just hold down one and left click. So one, two, three, four. The top one we're going to want to set as 0 0.008. The second one as 0.9. The third one as 1.05 and the fourth one as 0.95 and then we're going to get two LURPs so to do that you hold L and left click and again to get two and then 0 0.008 is going to go into the A of the first LURP and then 0 0.9 into the B of the second LURP and then again for the second LURP the other LURP it will be 1.05 in A and 0 0.95 in B. And for the alpha, what we're actually going to do is get a Fresnel function. So just right click and search for Fresnel function. Should be the top under miscellaneous, like so. And the result of that will just go in the alpha of these two LURPs, like so. And then in this function, we're just going to get another constant. So hold down one, left click, and set this to 1.5. And then plug that into the power. And what this is doing is basically setting the alpha for our LURPs. So how much of these the alpha modifier by? And so the top LURP with 0 0.08 and 0 0.08 and 0.9 is going to go into the opacity, like so. And so this is just defining how see-through the glass is. And then the second LURP is going to go into the refraction. And so that obviously displays how much refraction is in the glass, which is how much the light refracts as it goes through. And if you look on the left here, it doesn't look like it's changed that much. It just looks like a metallic ball. And that's because the opacity and the refraction aren't actually enabled as of right now. And what we're going to do to fix that is go down to the bottom left down here and change the blend mode from opaque to translucent and then scroll down further and change the lighting mode under translucency to surface translucency volume. And as you can see, we now have all of the ones enabled that we want. And when we wait for this to update, it should look like a good glass that we want. So if we hit apply, wait for it to load up, we should see that it looks good over here. And there we go. That just looks like some nice glass there. So if we save this, and close it and then apply this material onto our window or whatever you want, you should see how good it looks. So if I just select this plane here, go down to the materials and drag and drop this on. The glass mat, there we go. We now have a nice glass material. And just to show it off better, I'll put a wall in behind it. So to do that, I'm just gonna go in the start content, architecture, and grab in a wall, like so. And I'll put one behind it just so we can see that it's working. And actually, I'll also just put in a wall window and then copy and paste this glass over and just 
put it to scale it down so it fits perfectly in that window slot. And then if we hit play, go over and look at it, as you can see, we now have a nice glass texture in there, and we do here as well. So you can see it's slightly refracted, but we didn't put the refraction up that much, as this isn't very thick glass or underwater or anything like that, so it doesn't need to be too high. But this looks good, so we now have a window or glass material for wherever you want. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've got the glass material and how we want it to look, and it looks quite good from what I can tell. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped. And if it did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.